Show. Welcome to the Jonathan Ross Show. Thanks very much for joining us. It's Saturday night, of course. Wasn't that a great X Factor? The auditions. <laughs> The audition stage is nearly over, so like a primary school canteen, the X Factor will soon be completely nut-free. <laughs> so be afraid, because soon the loonies will all be back on the street. <laughs> uh, congratulations are due to a woman in Inverness who's had a 12-pound baby. <laughs> oh, poor mother. The baby will be walking before she is. <laughs> Let's do a couple more. A Swedish man has unearthed a can of preserved meat, and he served it to his dinner guests, and it was 71 years old. It was some beef that had been in a can for 71 years. I don't, you're grown, I'd like to know what that tastes like. In fact, I'm going to ask Tom Jones' wife. Because... <laughs> because... It's not the age, it's the quality. Memo to self, phone Tom and apologise to me. Uh, there's a man in China who's suing the police for taking this picture from a speed camera. Have a look at this. <laughs> If we go in closer, you can see <laughs> he's enjoying an intimate moment. <laughs> he's, he's being prosecuted, I think, quite rightly, because you can't honk the horn in a built-up area. You know you can't. <laughs> That's the show. We've got a great show for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. OK. I'm going to show you who's on the show tonight, because my first guest is one of Britain's favourite comedians. He will also sing at the drop of a hat, which is why security have confiscated all the hats in the building. It's Mr. Peter Kay, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Hello, Peter. Hey. Peter Kay. Hey. Hey. How are you, Peter? Hey. Have you let in? Hello, Peter. Hey, hey, Jonathan. How are you doing? I'm very good. Last time I saw you, you were... <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were doing Geraldine. You had a big hit with Geraldine, the character Geraldine. Yeah. It's nice to see you're not in a dress for once. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Peter Kay, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Peter Kay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our next guest is an actor, a writer, <laughs> presenter, author, comedian, lover, fighter, tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, gypsy, tramp and thief. He is all those things and so much more. It's Stephen Fry. Oh, Thank you. Bless you. Hello. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Hello, Jonathan. Yeah. How lovely yeah, thank you. to see you in the green room. Good evening, Stephen. How are you tonight? I'm so well, Jonathan. It's always a pleasure being on your show. God, God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. I'm sorry, Stephen. You, you went for the obvious answer. Damn. I'm going to have to dock you some points. <laughs> Uh, Stephen Fry, ladies and gentlemen, isn't it lovely to see him here? Thank you so much for coming along. OK, and there's more. As, you, as you've seen, we could do a whole show with, with either of those two on their own, but we have uh, another guest as well right here. He is an X-Man. <laughs> and when I say X-Man, I don't mean his post-op. <laughs> He's one of the X-Men, and so much more. It is only Hugh Jackman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's something you need to know about yeah, you. I'm going to ask you, has anyone seen the clip uh, when Oprah Winfrey uh, hosted a show from Australia and they asked you to make... What was the thinking there? Why did you come in in such a dramatic way? They just thought it, w it wouldn't be cool to come down on a zip line like a flying fox from the Opera House down to the stage, which is at the foot of the Opera House. I thought that's going to be a great way to kind of show Sydney Harbour. And so I just stupidly said, yeah. Let's have a look at the clip and tell us what's going oh, on. Comment. That's me coming down and I'm waving, thinking, OK, now it's time to break. And I'm, no, no, I've got to break. Oh, boy. <laughs> kind of. Jeez, that's the first time I've seen it, actually. Uh, yeah. You're a nice guy. You're waving at the crowd going, bonza. Good yeah, on no, you. <laughs> I'm waving. I'm waving because when my hand hit the lighting uh, thing, I was meant to, that's when I was meant to put the brake on. So as my hand was, I'm pretending to wave, and I go, oh, great. Put on the brake, but I was going a little too fast, too and mm -hmm. then before I knew it, 20 feet, bang, I just went straight into the, like, the lighting <laughs> truss. And well, I swung up. I love it. Stephen loves it. He's like, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, well, you back. know what I'm going to ask you to do now, of course. Anyway. We'll, we'll test whether how amenable you are. I think everyone saw that clip around the world. I'm going to ask you to come on in an even more dramatic way tonight. Mate, I'm, I'm up for anything. You know me. We want you to come on in the most death-defying way. Are you up for the challenge? Can I wear clothes? Is that all right? You, <laughs> if you want, but I want you to... Are you going to say yes? Are you going to do it? Uh, yes, of course. He's going to yes. do it, ladies and gentlemen. Later on, do it. you won't believe... What we have in store for Hugh. That's Hugh Jackman, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Hugh. Glad to see you here. And 
there's more. We like to give you some music on a Saturday night. My final guest is a man who's been making fabulous music for 10 years. It's Mr. Will Young. <laughs> Will, how are you? Very well, thanks. I can't <laughs> believe you've been doing it for 10 years now. You still look so young. You don't look like you've aged at all. You still look no. like you're, you're going to have to ask someone else to buy your cigarettes and your WKD. It's <laughs> Botox. Is it what you're not doing the Botox? No, are you? I'm not. I'm not. Have you had any work done? I tried it once, actually, under my arms. Yeah, because I sweat Why would a lot. you try it under your arms? Who's <laughs> looking under there for wrinkles? I sweat a lot, so I went to... Oh, oh, why am I saying this? Uh, so <laughs> I went to see this, this uh, chap, and he gave me some Botox, and then I sweated through it. And he said, you're the only man in Europe to sweat through Botox. Wow. Well, <laughs> let's, so let's call Guinness of... right now and get yeah. that put in the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one final line-up of a show for you right there. Now, uh, before we get to that, just one quick thing. A game came into the office this week. We get all sort of weird stuff sent to this, and the game is called... It's a new family game for kids to play at home. It's called Doggy Doo. OK? Doggy Doo. <laughs> it's for ages four to, well, let's say, 51 or something like that. Here it is. Look, it comes up here. It's a dog. It's a bit like... It reminds me of uh, that Yahoo Buckaroo game, but it's kind of different. He's got a bone in there, and there's the business end round there, you see. And what you do is... It's a kind of game of risk and chance, OK? Uh, you basically take it in turns to squeeze this... So the plasticine poo comes out through the dog. <laughs> oh, you're saying oh no, but once you see it, you're going to rush out and get yourself one of these. <laughs> so I'm going to load up this end here. Oh, blimey. So you load him up with a little pellet, like that, just like he's eating his food, you see? He's, he's enjoying that. Good boy. Put that in there. And then put that in there, and you pop it in. And then whoever's in charge, squeeze in, you take it in turns. Whoever's in charge when the payload doors open, <laughs> has to scoop the poop and... Just pop it over the neighbour's garden, I guess. But anyway, so... <laughs> and you have no idea who's winning or not. And I'm going to warn you now, this sounds disgusting. <laughs> which is why kids will love it. You ready? <laughs> Get a good shot of that. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the tension mounting, can't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another go. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! There you go. <laughs> i tell you what, though, I could do with that device on Boxing Day. <laughs> they should have done that instead of red or black. It was more exciting, shouldn't they? <laughs> Let's get my first guest out, ladies and gentlemen. It is the wonderful Mr. Peter Kay, ladies and gentlemen. Here is come on out, Peter. <laughs> well, let me help you here. You say you got extra. Well, you sit. Well, you sit here. I've got a book out. You... <laughs> I've got a book out. And the book company made me wear this. They didn't make you wear no, it. How, how did they shot. make you? I, I signed a thing. <laughs> I'm at the shopping centre well, tomorrow. Wearing that. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 is that you've got to do? You've just got to do. You've got to do. You've got to do now. Got a book out. You've got to wear out. it like that all around town. I've got to do the plug, haven't the I? Book, the book's You've not... You've got a book out and all, haven't you? Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm not wearing it on my head. Because <laughs> it's your show, isn't it, That's dickhead? True. That's true. <laughs> there you go. Pull it, mate. <laughs> there you go. They don't need a swear word, How are you? Are you? How are you? Yeah. You, look, you look very well. It's lovely to see you. Come yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there, and there's the book uh, itself. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> well, listen. Peter, what's this? You come on with presents and stuff. I like this. There you uh, go, a little gift for you, Jonathan. This could be... Can I open it now? Yeah, if you want to kill some time. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to kill time. We've got great guests waiting to come on, but, you go know, on. it's a... OK. I mean, you're, you're here. You're, you're hey, OK. I like so. that. Love that. Done that myself. What is it? Sure, it's a camera. There you go. <laughs> what is it? Cross-stitch. Cross-stitch of what? Of you? Of my face. <laughs> Put that on your desk. Don't be ungrateful. Christ almighty. What's <laughs> wrong with you? What are you doing now? I'm messing your continuity up. That's oh. what I'm doing. <laughs> because 
But we can't every we, time we can't edit this out. Are you gonna because every time I come on one of your shows, it's always edited about you. It's always cut, everything's cut, all the songs go. I sing <laughs> songs, oh, I do songs and everything. They all get cut out. I mess hey. about comedy, but it's all about what's funny for Jonathan. Well, <laughs> Peter, Peter, I, I didn't realise you were so busy. Do that song you do with the moustache. Do that go compare thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're proud of that, aren't you? I am. You're proud of that. I'll um, be in. Well, you've got a lot of moustaches there. Yeah, we've got a lot of time. You've come prepared for a whole evening. <laughs> a whole time. So you, how are you then? Do you, you like your new show? Don't keep changing your moustache. How come we, we can't? People won't know what's going on. Of course they will. I was it's... trying to build something. You jumped right in with your props you know and what? said, Hey, walk, shut eh? up, Ross. Listen, listen. Walk, what I was going to ask you was, Go on. Is at home, yeah. does your wife enjoy? Your <laughs> material. Do you make the jokes no, for her? No, the hell. This, you know, it's not funny anymore. I'm not funny at home, am I? Miserable at home. <laughs> Are you, you're not really miserable. Give us that. I'm, I'm getting my sticky bit off the thing. Go on. <laughs> Ooh, They're thirsty. Yeah. I had uh, gammon for tea. <laughs> <laughs> do you um? So do you try out material at home? Do you try it out on your wife? No. So when a joke occurs to you, you just store it. Oh, what? Go on. <laughs> Give it again. Could I, could I have one no, more? No, you can't. Just Come on, I'm, I'm making a mockery of you, man. Come on. <laughs> Let's do... Oh, well, you've not asked me a question. I just did, room. but you were too busy I sticking a fake moustache on to listen. I don't, do, I don't do jokes at all, no. But when, I know, but what do you really like, though? I don't know what you really like. You've never invited me around your I, house. I've invited you around my house. You've never invited me around your house. You've never, you, um... Uh, you've never... What, you've ne time? I've never been round. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just having a look round. It'll you've all seen, get edited you've out seen, anyway. You've seen London before. Come and sit down. No, I want to have a look round. Go on. Where are you going? I want to see you what's going on here. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh. Hey. Go on. Where's he gone now? <laughs> Of us. Oh, talk to me. Talk to me. Oh. <laughs> it's freezing. It's freezing. Go well, on. It's, <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Go on. You know what's nice is, though, we're paying for it. We might as well use it well, all, might might we? Use we it. We might as well. You're I'm... more than welcome to come to my house. <laughs> it's windy. <I> <laughs> <laughs> Right. But no, I want to know what you do across it. I want to know what you actually. You like want to know home. what makes the comedian. You want to get the. No, tea I want to know clothes. what you're like as a person because I see you like oh. everyone sees you're being very funny on shows. Why are you uh, shouting? Are you? Because so <laughs> 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 I'm worried about the wind. Um, uh, are you? Uh, are you? Do you look after yourself? I mean, we can see you. You're not. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, do you? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. I can hang outside of a building. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Well, look, okay, you're not, you're not like, we look at Hugh Jackman, you know, you see a man yeah, in his yeah, physical yeah. prime of look life. At him. So, and Stephen, you, I know you walk, a lot you of keep walking. yourself in shape. Do you, are you worried about your health? Do you keep in shape? What like kind of a question, Jonathan? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm worried about I, wanna, my health. I want you to be around for a while. I don't want you to cock it and keel over one day. So No, I no, you... I think I'm all right. Yeah, do, yeah. Do, do Maybe this will be my last interview. Do you do? <laughs> You know, if I, if I let go, it will be. Oh, no, 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 you know what this is? This is if Ken Loach directed King Kong, this is what you'd get. <laughs> Ken Loach is diehard. <laughs> That's what this is. Peter, we're going to take a break. You can, you. can you hang on? Yeah, I'll be here. OK, you, don't man. go away. We'll be back with more Peter Kay after this. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen.
Um, I'm here with Peter Kay. We've calmed down. We've got him back in from the window. He was hanging on. Uh, Peter, I want to show a clip because there's something you did for the last Comic Relief, uh, which was fabulous. Uh, you always do things. It was unexpected. But you always do something. You take it about as far as you can, I guess. You with Susan Boyle <laughs> was uh, a yeah. tremendous moment. You, did you see that on Comic Relief? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did you get her to do it? Did you go to her director? Did you, I mean, did you have to persuade her or was she up for it to begin with? Yeah, she were up for it. Yeah, had a bit of a, could, you know, going back through Simon Cowell and all that, getting his approval. I think he were like, what is going on? Yes, this lady well, makes me a lot of money. Yeah, he looks after everyone. Like that, do not should. ruin it. <laughs> and she was, but it was the funny joke. You had to make sure that she was ready to join. Oh, yeah, yeah, I told her about it. She's up for anything. Eh? She's a good laugh. Yeah, yeah. She's fantastic. Fantastic <laughs> singer. And uh, we just record, we treated it all completely serious. If you, ever, if you go on YouTube and see the proper video, we copied it. And, that, and therein lies the humour. And it's from chess, <laughs> isn't it? It was from chess. Okay, let's have we a look at We want to do one a... night in Bangkok, but you couldn't kick her legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. This is uh, Peter Kay with Susan Boyle from Comic Relief. Look at this. I don't, I, I don't think you're a cross-dresser, but you like dressing up for comedy, don't you? You yeah, like for comedy characters reasons. all that. Yeah, yeah, I like doing characters. I'm very lucky because I've been able to do things as me and then do Brian Potter and do Max and Geraldine, and I'd like to go back and do some uh, character things next. It's been really good because I keep people guessing, and I don't... It's not that I want to... I just like doing different things. If a good idea comes along... Them current relief things and children in need, the one I did the, the animation, animation thing. thing. Which was, must have taken years. Yeah, two years. But if you get a really good idea, the good thing about doing anything for charity is that you get through a lot of red tape. Mm. So you can do things that you would normally not be able to do because it's... Like if I went to Simon Cowell and said I want to do a video with Susan Boyle, they'd be like, get, get out of town. But I'm doing it for current relief. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, so yeah. you can do all you want to do. You, know, you can get, ask a lot of people to do things. And then you make a lot of money and it keeps you know, something funny. What's your idea for the oh, next comic relief? Eh? Go on. We were in sync then for a minute. No, we're just. I can't cross my leg like that. I've got very, very tight upper thighs. This isn't my leg. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what do you, you have for next for comic relief? Have you got an idea on the back burner, or can you, would you not want to share with us? Or current nothing? relief? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do nothing for a oh, while. Right, I've been okay. on tour for two years. And... Well, the tour is, has been just a remarkable success. I know you're popular, but you must have been... Bots. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> well, you must have been we'll surprised by the number of tickets you sold. It's been it? amazing. It's, yeah, but it's been good because I've been able to be at home and be around the family. I've scheduled it in a way that I do it and then I get back. So it's been really good. So it's been two years and I finish in... Um, a uh, few, I'm doing back on four weeks now. Th let me just tell you this, the last night of the tour, sorry, tour, I'm down south, <laughs> is, uh, it's in Manchester Arena and I'm doing it for the Christie Cancer Hospital. Oh, that's lovely. So that's the last night of the tour and the tickets go on sale tomorrow morning at, eight, <laughs> at 10 o'clock. If you want to so get, you get some... tickets, if you go what, to go to a website online, your yeah, website. You can go to or... mine, get on to internet. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go. Hey. And you can uh, you can get tickets, and it's for the Christie Cancer Hospital. That's the last night. And all new material. All new, John. <laughs> Everything's new. Spring collection. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are you, um, you going to do uh, Phoenix Knights again? Would you go back to the old characters? Will you do more with Geraldine? Or are you always looking forward? Or you, do I'm going to do, do, I'm gonna do something completely different. I like doing things that I've never... Things, you know what, it's that old thing. If someone scares you, you should do it. Ah! But the thing is... <laughs> it's just, how oh, childish. How oh, childish. I was ready for that. How oh, childish. I see you were going to do something. No, you, yeah, you saw it coming, you can read ah! it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> the thing is, I'd like, I'd like to do... Um, I think... Ah! Too quick. If someone's just tuned in, what kind of quality is people too blunt? going, ah, ooh, ah, <laughs> ooh, ah. They'd love this in Czechoslovakia. <laughs> this... <laughs> They'd love it. Um, OK, yeah, but you, so you've got no plans to go back any old... Cos I was thinking... Why are you uh, rushing? Slow down. <laughs> breathe, 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 breathe. <laughs> 
I was thinking, I know, that's beautiful. Take that home. No. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, I would like to see a Phoenix Knight movie. Yeah, they've asked me because this in between is one's done well. Huge. Yeah. I've written, I have actually written a full series of Phoenix Knights 3. I've written a screenplay for Phoenix Knight. There well, he is. There he is. There's He's Brian. Brian. Okay, I'm going to confess something now, which I think I might have told you, I don't know, but when I saw you, and this probably says more about me than you, but as yeah. you know, that's the way I this like it. about your rash. Show. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought you were quite sexiest, Jolding. So did I, which was freaky for me. <laughs> I know. I'm actually better looking as Geraldine than I am you as me. You were quite a comely lass, I thought. You were quite a good-looking girl. A, what, a comely com lass. A comely lass? Yeah. Did your wife enjoy seeing you uh, as Not Geraldine? at all. Why would you? How could you? Not at all. Very freaky. I've still got the breasts in the wardrobe. <laughs> it's, um, oh, are they it's like, hanging or are they just on a shelf? They're coming in a box. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, anyway. So you never put it on as a treat for, like, on a date night or something? Go easy on them crisps, Stephen. Save me some. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Peter, what are you it? talking to? Yes, you. <laughs> we were, you know I'm talking to you. Someone said yes, okay. They said to me, yeah, they said Get that's him that's off. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. That's don't, don't, me, Dom. No. No, 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 come on. Have a what? Because I, I, I hate the bit when you wrap it up. No, it's no, really no, 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 don't be like that. You always, it's, it's, it's like how you tie it all well, up. You're, okay. you're not good at that. You've never been good at that. <laughs> you're not going to, because well, you go straight in. Subject myself to this. Well, it's only every two years, isn't it? I never do any telly. I know, but come on, just come on and be nice. But, okay, no, no, one more thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> what on that? Ah! Ah! Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. You... Oh, <laughs> oh, he's down. Look up. Ladies and gentlemen, be the guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much. Get out, relax. Oh, you're done. He's off. Oh. We've got to take a break. Don't go away. We'll be back with Stephen Fry. <laughs> Welcome back on the show. Shall we get my next guest out, ladies and gentlemen? I can be sure. He is such a national treasure, you can only touch him if you're wearing special gloves. Will you please welcome the one and only Mr. Stephen Fry. How wonderful to see you again. Oh, it's lovely to see you, old thing. It really but, is. Hey, first of all, let me congratulate you. You're hosting the BAFTAs again, and I can't think of oh. a better host for the BAFTAs. Thank I've done you. it for a few years. You're nowhere near as good a oh, job as you it. are. That's the truth. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank when you, you get bored again, give me a call, but I'll be watching <laughs> with everyone else at home. Well, thank you. Okay. No, I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, you, you must be aware of this, I'm sure, but when you see lists, and we've all seen them, you see lists in magazines, they're normally polls conducted. You're, you're on all those nice lists, and, it, and always, if it's like, who's your dream dinner party guest? Oh. You're, you're at the top or near the top on every single one of them. Uh, people you want to get stuck in the lift with, and I know you've been stuck in the lift, <laughs> it's like Stephen Fry. It, does that put any pressure on you? Do you feel, when you go into a room with strangers, do you think, I have to be Stephen Fry now? Well, I suppose there's an element of that, but I think uh, most people uh, like to be listened to rather than be spoken to. And, and I don't see it as my job to sit next to someone immediately just fill their ear with a load of nonsense. So I think the, being a listener is the key. My mother uh, brought me up in a very old-fashioned... Um, way about how you eat at dinner tables and I know you won't believe this is true but it still is true in very high circles and palaces and things if you, you, you the first course and the second course you speak to the person on your left and then in a very sort of subtle way as it gets to the third and fourth course you speak to the person on your right and if everybody knows those rules nobody's left in the middle not being spoken to which hold is... on, no that doesn't work because if you're speaking to the person yeah. on your left then they're, they're speaking to the person on their left <laughs> and then you turn right no how does no. that work? I speak to the lady on my left there. There's and she the... speaks to the man on the right? No, no, no. She's speaking to me as well. Oh, you're, but you're yeah. on my right. I'm the lady. Yeah. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Exactly. And, <laughs> and, then, then, the... oh, and then we go... Yeah, and then, uh, then we turn... And the other one like that. Yeah. See? So, that no. must be... And do people get it wrong sometimes? And they're sitting well, there furious waiting yeah. for the turn back round? Well, what you must make sure is nobody's alone. That's no, a lovely no, thing. You know? you'd think out of common courtesy you would do that. You would, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, you go to a lot of those kind of bashes, then? <laughs> not, <laughs> as, not as many not as, that as I many. used to. Uh, I, I have a terrifying uh, dream-stroke fantasy yeah. about you, Stephen. Oh, yeah? 
that, I, that I'm forced to play Scrabble with you. <laughs> because there can't be many words you don't know, and this will bring us on to your new documentary series, but yeah. uh, do, do you learn new words on a regular basis, or have you learned as many as you could possibly use? Oh, I, 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 I like... I mean, if I see a word that I don't know, I, I love to look it up and find out what it might mean. But when did that last so on, happen um, to you? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, it does, it does, it does. I mean, obviously there are scientific words and other words that come out, but as a child I was a bit of a word nerd. I think... I can bless the fact that I'm so physically uncoordinated, so hopeless at games, so unable to dance, so musically inept, that all it left me with was books. So I spent my time reading, and I, and I was insomniac as well as a teenager. What, so I, I would read two or three novels a night, uh, and I didn't have a television, house in the country, no television. Were they the kind bedroom. of novels you read under the covers with a torch, or were they ones you could share <laughs> with the rest of the family, Mr. Fire? I don't know, Crime and Punishment, uh, oh, no. Ol no, Oliver okay. Twist. Stephen, how old were you when you read Crime and Punishment? Uh, 11, I think. In, no, 11? Yeah. It's an easy book to read. It's I know, but, but it's a peculiar book for an 11-year-old to be attracted to. I know, to. it's true. But then my parents had a wonderful library, and we were right in the middle of the country, Nothing. and so there was no... The nearest other library was a mobile library. But imagine come. if, I wonder, if uh, the internet had existed when uh, you were a child, would you have read... I would be as stupid as you. It's true. I, I, would, <laughs> I would. I would. I can't argue uh, with that. No, no, I no. can't argue with that. Now, this brings us to Planet yeah. Word, the new documentary yes. series you've made, and it's a fascinating subject. Once you start speaking about it, it becomes fascinating. I can imagine if you saw it written down on paper and someone said, it's a, it's a documentary about, what, about, uh, about language. Language, language, where it comes from, you where it's going. You might think, well, that's a bit dry. But yeah. you, you bring it to life, and it's obviously something that struck a chord with you. C completely so. Uh, firstly, the mystery of it. I mean, it's, uh, it's only 50,000 years since human beings have been able to speak. And, and, and really, all our civilization is based on, on the fact that we can speak. What was the first language? <laughs> there was, it was a marvellous question that people used to ask themselves in the 17th and 18th century because they believed in the Bible, of course, and they believed Adam and Eve must have spoken the language. Was it Aramaic, Jewish, sort of Hebrew language? Was it, uh, some people thought it might Greek? Uh, they, they honestly believed, and there were people unethical and powerful enough to put babies, you know, cast them adrift, as it were, without access to, to the language of their country to see if they would... Speak a primal Fine. language. Like speaking in tongues almost, as yes. a kind of a divine language. To, yes, exactly. And of course, that now we know is nonsense. Some of the ones that I always thought would be harder to learn, and maybe they're not, would be the kind of, uh, the, the, the ones which are the kind of glottal languages, yeah, the, the ones that... Oh, yeah, yeah, the strange languages where you make clicking yeah. noises. Yeah. Uh, uh, do they take longer for children to learn those? No, that... all children have all sounds available to them up until a certain age. They just drop away as they're not used. So all French babies could make the the or th, the voiced or unvoiced, Th, um, but it's not used in French, so by the time they're four or five, really? you then ask them to say, uh, go to the theatre, and they will, they will go, go to the theatre, yeah. because the th has come out of them. Yeah. And we could have a click, and we also have a, as Scots do, they say the loch, uh, or as a German would say, bach, but most English people, we don't have that much, and we just drop it. Let's have a look at a clip. I think you're, are you in, did you go to Kenya, is that why? Yes, North, Northern Kenya, this on the border with Ethiopia. The Stephen Fry, this is Planet Word, this is Stephen Fry in Northern Kenya with some children, look at this. What's really amazing is that these children, even the smallest of them, within a very short space of time, are able to grasp the full complexities and all the phonetics and all the metaphors and all the remarkable depths that the Takana language is capable of. It's no more effort for them to acquire a full language than it is for them to grow hair. It just happens. And yet it's the most complex piece of brain processing that we know of on the planet. It's a kind of miracle. <laughs> miracle. You are a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, people. Amazing. What a lovely moment. What a tremendous experience yeah. here as well. I mean, it's just one, one example. Um, that's Kenya. Uh, K K Kenya. Kenya has 69 languages. Just what? Kenya. Just Kenya. Yeah. I mean, there are around just over 6,000 languages on the planet, but hundreds are dying every year. And do you, how many do you speak? Uh, with with oh, I, some degree of, were you passable? I, I, I can, I mean, I, I'm good brothel German, restaurant Italian, um, that sort of thing. How do, you uh, say, then... how do you say, I want the blonde boy in German? <laughs> <laughs> Ich will den As if you haven't said that before. I'll take the Engel. <laughs> no, but it's... <laughs> it's um, I, I find language, all languages beautiful. And the fact that we all have them, that's well, the point. Well, I could listen to you all evening. I'm sure everyone else could. Unfortunately, we can't. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you can see, I think, from the evidence evening, just why he's on the top of everyone's dream dinner party no. guest list. Mr. Stephen Fry. Thank, thank you, Stephen. Thank you.
We've got to take a break. Don't go away. When I come back, Mr. Hugh Jackman will be joining me. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back. Okay, this is... Uh... This is uh, risky what we're doing now. Uh, I mentioned at the top of the show that he smacked his face. He damaged himself uh, when he crashed into a lighting rig, zip wiring on to be a guest on Oprah Winfrey's show, okay? Uh, and we thought, okay, he set the bar that high. Let's see if we'll go one step further. Let's see if he will go uh, into the realm of real potential danger um, as he enters our show. Let's see how he's getting on. Are you ready to go, Hugh, over there? Ready. Okay. <laughs> you see what we've got there now? I don't want you to worry about this because I'm here and when we fire you out of that cannon, right. I'm going to catch you, OK? <laughs> so you've got nothing to worry about. I trust you. We did this early in rehearsal with the dummy, and I nearly got it. Right. <laughs> so if you're ready, will you count down, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> you, you, are you. Who, who, you. Who, 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 you went a bit further than I had anticipated. I was ready. You okay? Oh, shit. Who's that? Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. You okay there? Everything's still... Oh, well, you, 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 genuinely, you heard something. Come and sit down. I'll get, I'll get you a glass oh. of water. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Ah! Oh. Ah! Yes! You bugger! You bugger! Wait! He's a bad influence. Yeah, I actually was I was worried about you for a minute then. Here we are, girls. I was worried about you. My I hope acting you feel bad. still going. I hope you feel bad about that. He's a bad influence, oh. uh, Peter Kay. God well, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, If you'd caught down. me, I wouldn't have done the gag. How Look can I? I'm not going to catch a big, heavy lump like you. You could hold me. I would like to hold you. You could hold me. No, no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, oh, God. Oh. Well, that's two fantasies off my list tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See, Oprah couldn't oh. do that. Oh, dear. I bet Oprah could have carried us in a gym. She's got some shoulders on her, that girl. Um, <laughs> nasty. That was, obviously, we, we maybe, we massaged the effect there a little bit, but you did the Oprah thing for real. That was for real. Yeah, that was for real. Uh, I'm amazed they let you do that, because you get damaged and you've got a movie coming up, you can't do it. Are you allowed to do stunts in movies? Do you do your own stunts in Wolverine, for I example? I kind of do do them. In fact, things like that I would do, but they would never give the actor the break. Right. They would have someone yeah. else controlling it. Right, don't give actors... You don't get actors to say what they want. You tell them what to say, where to stand, all of that. So this one, I had my own break. And I remember, literally, as I kind of was testing off the Harbour Bridge... I mean, off the Opera House, I was holding the break and I was sort of slipping forward. And I'm like, oh. uh, guys, there's a problem. He goes, no, no, no. The faster you go, the better the break works. I said, hey. <laughs> This is not the time for practical <laughs> jokes. <laughs> no, nah, seriously, mate, the faster you go, oh. the better the break works. And I was but like, all right, so uh, I sort of really went for it. You know what, you're in incredible shape. Uh, I saw some <laughs> photographs. I mean, obviously, you, I guess you have to be. This is uh, some of the roles you play now. You are the right. guy in those roles. But I saw some uh, photographs of these. If you're on the beach, you ruined my holiday. I've got to no. be honest with you. <laughs> Do you not know how hard you're making it for every other man on the planet yeah. going around looking like that? Photoshop. That no. Nah, <laughs> please put me out of misery. Tell me that you you have a life of denial and constant gym sessions to get that way. You're not just pretty yeah, buff. No, no, I, no. Naturally, I'm skinny like a rake. I'm just like very. So I, it, it is uh, my diet. You would not like my diet. It's six thousand calories of all the things you kind of don't want to eat. Well, six thousand calories sounds good, whatever it is. No. <laughs> when six thousand calories is steamed chicken and steamed broccoli from eight in the morning every two no hours. Flavor. Now I'm not doing that now, but when I'm doing like Wolverine, that's that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about your new movie, Real Steel. I yep. saw it, uh, and I wished I had. Um, my kids were in when I saw it. I saw a screening for this, and I saw it, and I thought, this is just a great family film. Uh, was that the intention of you? You wanted to make something you could see with your kids? This is the first film my kids have seen. First time I took it, it was fantastic. I had my mother-in-law, 75, I had my wife, 22, and I had my two, <laughs> my two children uh, with me and all of them loved it. And it was, uh, it's such a joy to actually do something that your kids want to see because basically my son 
doesn't want me to be an actor. He's mainly embarrassed by it. How old is he now? He's, uh, he's 11, my daughter's six, and they just loved it. They just thought it was great. Yeah. And so, and seeing it with a big audience, and it's one of those rousing sports drums, like Rocky, like, you know, when it's, I grew up. It's like, it's like Rocky with robots. It's Rocky yeah. meets Terminator. Right. Uh, I think it opens here October the 14th, so you can't see it for a while, but you will want to see this film. It's great. Look at this. What was he like? As a boxer, Charlie was number two in the world. Then the fight game changed. Let's make some money! Oh, no, no! I think there's a whole robot in there. He's a sparring bot. He'll get destroyed in the ring. Get him a fight. Watch me do what I do. We've come too far to blow this whole thing. Brilliant! It's the real deal. So, you're not boxing in the ring. Can I... Well, why don't you explain a bit of the premise? Because you're not actually boxing in the movie. No, I'm like the corner man. I manage them, I own them, I control this them. This is in the future when robots do yeah. the boxing for you, yeah. It's the biggest sport in the world. And these robots are nine foot tall, they're massive. It's full-on destruction because people have got bored with human boxing because there's not enough violence. So, robots can go in and smash each other Lock up. each and... other's head, clear off. Yeah. So, I'm basically the corner man. Um, that's my job. But you, you're an ex-boxer, so you had to train. So, you trained with yes. a boxer, I believe, for this. I, yes, with Sugar Ray Leonard. Wow, no less. he was yeah. one of the greatest middleweights in the history of the sport. One of the greatest and one of the most beloved. And as you, I was really in awe meeting him. And as you go around, I, I did some press at the Super Bowl in America. Those sports guys, they turned to jelly with Sugar Ray. And look at him, that guy, I mean, he's, he's 54. It's unbelievable. Well, look, he's he's just, so he's, handsome. He's, he's a real ambassador life. for the sport as well. And he, you know, he's one yep. of those guys who I know gives himself, gives a lot of himself to other people. He is a poster child of how boxers should be after a great career and there's yeah. very few like him but yeah. he's uh, he's a true gentleman and a great man there's a rumor i heard about you i don't know if it's true is that when you're making a, a film people you buy you buy lottery tickets yeah have For, you, you uh, heard about because, that because uh, i've heard i've investigated i've poked around on friday so every friday yeah you buy tickets for how many people four five four hundred something like that yeah well here's what it, when, in australia when you do movies there's no stand-in, there's, you know, you bring your sandwiches with you and you, if you're lucky, you're lucky to get a chair, you know? Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty, and pretty everyone's rough Everyone's in together yeah. and, and when you get to America, everyone's got massive trailers, people call you Mr. Jackman and most people don't even talk to you. They're, they're taught that the star is not to be talked to. I right? like the sound of that. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> so, it was weird, the very first film I did, X-Men, I was like two months into it and I'm like, it's embarrassing. It's kind of like working with all you guys, and after two months, I don't know half the people. I haven't even said hello. They don't say hello to people, me. And they're scared of you a little bit. So I thought, okay, I've got to find a way without looking like a complete dickhead of going around and at least saying hi. So instead of like, hi, I'm Hugh, and how are you? I thought, I know what I'll do. And I, I went around, I said, listen, hey, there's this Australian tradition. We, on Fridays, we, it's called Lucky Friday. And they were like, oh, g'day, mate. I said, have a good weekend. And, Within a few weeks, you've at least met everybody. Yeah. So I, I, I totally screwed myself because from that moment on, I never ever got a Friday off work. Even if I was not in the scene, I was called in. They wanted you find I think we need you. Because they were afraid the crew wouldn't turn up. Yeah, so they turn up and, uh, and you give them a lottery ticket. Right. And can I tell you, if you buy lottery tickets out there, like ever thinking you know, jackpot winning, it's not going to happen. All right? <laughs> I've done this for 10 years. I don't know how many thousands I've bought. Not the one? The biggest is $110. Yeah. Hugh, Once. Hugh, that's the biggest they told you about. <laughs> are, you, you, are you a gambling man yourself? You're not a gambler. Not at all. No. no. Uh, Ever gamble? I, play poker? No, generally, I, I find most of the games boring. I know poker can be interesting, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm just probably too tight with my money to you gamble. Play, uh, what, what do you do for, if, you want, if you've got half an hour to kill, you're alone in your trailer uh, and it's trying to keep it vaguely clean, and this yep. you really want to share. Right. Um, <laughs> what would you do? Would you have Drink. like. Just drink heavily? Drink, yeah. No, you don't. No, after 10 a.m., not before you, 10. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, uh, you play games on your phone? Do you play any of those games? Uh, no. Patience or Angry Birds or Scrabble or anything like that? You know what I do? Oh. I sing. I do. Like, uh, I know, it's weird. People go, they see Wolverine yeah. on the door, like it's a uh, door of the trailer, Wolverine. La, 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 la. And, la, 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 la. What well, that's a woman. Do you sing songs as well, you, or you just do the, the scales? No, I sing some songs, okay, yeah. Because you have a one-man show that you did in... Toronto, Toronto and, and San you, Francisco. You're taking it to Broadway, yes. I believe. Would yes. you bring it here to the UK? I would love to bring it here to the Who UK. Who wouldn't want to see yeah. you on stage? 
I love musical theatre. I know it is on a show, I suppose, but it's more about your life, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit of... I tell some stories, I do some dancing, I sing, and I drag people up like you to do duets. What I are we going to do? I would be there. Man? I would be w there. What do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> they call the wind Mariah. You don't I know don't know that one. <laughs> His name is Testifier Joe. And I still don't know that more. Are you do? You Can't did it. you do a song that we all know? <laughs> Something simple from a Broadway show. Very good. <laughs> what about someone to hold me too close? You like that one? Of course. Someone to hurt me too, too much, deep. Too deep. I've forgotten something. Someone to da da ba ba. Yeah. And ba 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 ba. Being alive, being alive, very good. Being alive. Oh no, I can't sustain. It's a problem I've had all my career. It's not easy. I start well, I never know how to finish. There's not a lot of people who can drop a quarter tone during a well, night. Well, I'm obviously good. one of them who can't manage it. <laughs> well, you must bring it. You must bring it to London. He must bring it to London. You must tour the United Kingdom with that. We want to see that show. You've got to do it. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, great Real Steel man. opens October the 14th, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great, fun family action sci fi epic extravaganza. Hugh, great to see you again. Mr. Hugh Jackman. Great rapper. <laughs> A big thanks to uh, my other guests tonight, Peter Kay and Stephen Fry. Join me next week uh, because right here in the studio I will have the fantastic Helen Mirren, the excitable Louis Spence, Harry Hill will be here, and we have music from Kasabian. Right now, though, to play us out, will you please welcome one of my favourite recording artists in the United Kingdom, the lovely, the talented Mr. Will Young with Hearts on Fire.
job. Thank you very much. Mr. Will Young, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. Will Young, sounding great. Thank you, Will. And for exclusive extra clips of Jonathan chatting to this week's guests, head to itv.com slash Jonathan Ross. The last of the audition shows of The X Factor tomorrow night at 8. And then it's back. And oh, how we've missed it. ITV1 at 9 tomorrow. Down to Abbey. The new series begins. Duplicity is our film, and that's next tonight.